This video will show you how to use Streamer, a mapping tool by USGS. Streamer allows you to view and trace streams and rivers in the United States. However, it does not have every stream. For more detailed information about streams, you may try the Hydrography Viewer by the National Map. When using Streamer, please be aware that many features will only appear once you have zoomed in. We can choose to zoom in using the scroller or to search for a particular location. Once we have zoomed in, we will see more detail. You can see here that the background is a terrain base map, which allows you to view the topography of the region. You can change the background to satellite imagery by clicking on map contents and choosing imagery. At the top of the map are buttons. Trace downstream, trace upstream, clear map, trace report, print map, identify, and help. If you are delineating a watershed, you will want to use the trace upstream option. This allows you to trace the tributaries that flow into the stream or river you have selected. I can click on the map and the tributaries for this river will be highlighted. The triangle symbols represent USGS stream gauges. If we go to map contents, we can choose real-time stream flow. Orange colors mean that the stream flow is be below normal. Blue means it's above normal. As you can see here, most of the stream gauges show green, meaning that they are at normal levels. We can click on the Identify button to find out more information about a particular feature. I can click on a stream gauge. And you can see here, it gives me the number, it gives me the official name, and I can find more information about this particular stream gauge. It will take me to the USGS's National Water Information System. This will give me daily, monthly, and annual statistics for this particular stream gauge. Another way to find this detailed information is we can choose, under Trace Report, Detailed Report. The detailed report will give us every single stream gauge that the trace ran through. So in this particular one, it went through 16 different USGS stream gauges. So I can select my stream gauge. And I can also view the stream cage data.